check it out check it out what a beautiful day out here in the Billings Reservoir my childhood grounds for fishing I had to do a second take because of the dude over there but no big deal we got a bunch of people fishing out here days like this let me tell you something man when the Sun is shining bright and the water at the reservoir is low you just know it is going to be a good day for some exceptional micro fishing that's right you've guessed it man come over here come over here let me show you a little something okay look at this juicy pipe over here even without the polarized lenses I can already see gazillions of micros swimming right in front of it do you see it all over here the ones on top over here I can tell you it is some type of poecilia okay some type of live bearer there seems to be a tiny tilapia down there maybe we will even find different species of lambari so you know you can't usually access this spot at the reservoir because the water is usually much higher it is only on days like this right when the water is lower that you can really tap the full potential of the pipe so this is the goal for today okay we're going to do some micro fishing try to find some amazing exotic native species from the Billings Reservoir tiny ones potential lifers okay I am going to film today on the down low because I don't want a lot of people over here to know that I am speaking English only the few people who are around us okay after all there's always a legit chance that I'm going to get mugged with two cameras for everybody to see around here okay so on the down low Tanago on everything in the description of the video let's get fishing started oh yeah I just got some prime good bait right over here in Brazil we use these things over here like mega type of things that we call it the bichinho you know and I'm going to use it later today to catch some different species of fish but for micro fishing what I do is I just get one of the bichinhos right over this man and I put it on the tanago I'm not gonna do it on camera but I just gonna pow, cut a little piece of it right and drop it down there for the micros okay all right first drop I bet there's some lombardi over here dude places like this there's always some lombardi oh something something something's biting on it oh I missed it just a little piece of bichinho rapaz there's definitely some lombardi in here bro and the thing with the little ones in Brazil is they have teeth so you don't have to worry about it look at this our first species of the day dude I'm gonna fish for now and I'm going to identify everything later okay so this is how we're going to do it oh wait a moment going to the bucket dude let's see what we got here I'm gonna identify later some type of oh I think this is the Turiuba this is the Turiuba we'll identify later for now it goes into the bucket let's drop the hook there again There we go. What do you got here? Yeah, that is not the Turiuba, my man. There's another one. That's a different one. This is Brazil for you. One cast, one species, man. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that this one is the Astianax Altiparanai. Up to a few years ago, this one was actually the Astianax Lacustris. Down here, we call it the Lambari de Rabo Amarelo. But, you know scientists were like nah dude there's many different types of lambaris down here so they broke the whole lacustris species into many different ones you know that's what we call a split and this one here is native to the upper Paraná river which is connected to the Billings Reservoir or better saying Billings Reservoir is connected to the upper Paraná river system so this one became the Astianax Alti Paranai that you can only find around this area I would like to emphasize I have caught the lacustris as well, you know, in the Rio São Francisco in Petrolina, Pernambuco, right? Last year, I'll leave a photo over here for you all to see. Looks almost ident identical, right? But no, there are different species, indeed, just by range alone, okay? So that's good. We got two species in here, Bricom Americus Turiuba and Astianax Altiparanai. 
dude, let me tell you something, man. The way that pipe is looking right there, bro, it's got to be at least three more different species in there. Mark my words. All right, where did it go, that bigger one? There's a bigger one down there, and I want it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. What we got here? Oh, I think it is the same, actually. It's a uh, Lombardi. <laughs> okay. Lombardi de Rabo Amarelo. That's what we call it. The Lacustres, okay? So there are bigger ones of them down there. Look at the teeth of this guy. I'm going to put a photo over here for you of the teeth of this little fella. So you understand that even though it's like little Lombardis and it is not like piranhas, you know what I'm saying? They still got that powerful teeth, dude, that can get through the skin of your night crawlers and of your little bichinhos. So you have nothing to worry about when you come here down to Brazil. You think it is like a little tiny fish? Dude, let me tell you something, bro. This ain't no bluegill, bro. This is the real deal with the chomp chomp chomp, bro. All right, let's go catch some more. All right, take it easy, dude. There are some bigger ones down there that I don't know what it is yet. Come get it. Looking at it, looking at it. Eat it. What we got here? I knew it. It's a Crenicicla. In particular, this one here is a Crenicicla Britski. I think the Americans call it the Pike Cichlid. Yeah, we have Pike Cichlid down here too. Look at that. On the Tanago, bro. Like little piece. I'm gonna give you all the full the full overview at the outro of this video, okay? Crenicicla Britski. We put it here. We got three species in the bucket now. The mouth of the Poecilia, very, very tiny. So we have to make sure that the bait is also very, very tiny. Let's see, is this going to work? Yeah, this is very, very, very small. You see that right over there? I think we'll work for Poecilia. I just want to catch one anyways, just to say that I caught it, you know? I already have it on my species list. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, big ones on it, dude, big ones on it. Come on, come on, broski. They're not always to catch, easy to catch, by the way. But they're on it at least, so that's good. Oh, I had one. Come on, Poecilia. You don't want to snag it, you know. You want to catch it in the mouth. So you see, bait has to be very tiny for that. Poecilia vivipara, okay, the guppy that a lot of people have in their fish tanks in the United States of America. This is a big one too. This is a big female that seems to actually be prego. Uh, no, actually, this one's not. Yeah, see, in the mouth, okay. Not snagged, tanago. Poecilia are not always easy to catch. I'll, I'll give you that. So yeah, this is a nice sample right over here. Look at that, mosquitinho, right? That's what they call in Portuguese, I think. Look at that dude, fat bro, fat guppy, you know, you live line one of these or one little lambari over here, you may catch a traíra. How many different species of fish we got in the bucket so far? Turiuba, Altiparanai, Britski, and the Reticulata, so four, right? Okay, I think we'll be able to add a few more. Ha ha, na ha, me sumo sir laba. Uh-huh. Oh boy, had to take a little break from the fishing here at the Billings Reservoir. I didn't tell you folks, but my mom and my dad, they just left Brazil yesterday, you know. So if you watched that video, the Bird Chiaga one last week and you enjoyed it, that is like one of the videos with my parents, you know, before. I mean, it's going to be a little while until they show up on the YouTube channel again. They left from brazil to chicago united states to japan haneda and to Qingdao, china 
So they are right now in Chicago. That call was from Chicago, right? My mom pretty much telling me that everything is okay in the airport, that they the border the plane and they're waiting for the next flight, connection flight to Haneda, Japan, you know? It, it's been a few stressful days over here down in Brazil because I'm the one who organizes everything for them, right? So yeah, I just took a good 15, 20 minutes phone call over here. I think I'm gonna use this moment to go through the species in the bucket too, in a little bit because they, they may run out of air because the day is pretty hot. So let me gather my thoughts over here real quick. I have to do some research for their flight tonight. I'll be back in two. Oh my man, it is hot out here, I'll give you that. That's why I don't want the fish to suffocate here in the bucket, right? Which is why I'm going to release the first batch of micros that we caught here from the Billings Reservoir. We have four different species, right, of native species, okay, from southeastern Brazil, from the Billings Reservoir, which is actually a part of the Upper Paraná River system in the southeastern portion of this country. So these are very, very cool species, man. Check it out. We're just going to confirm real quick what they are. The only species I don't have photos yet of is the guppy. So that one I'm going to leave in the bucket. This one right here is the Krenicicla britski. We call it pike cichlid in the United States of America. There's actually two of them right over here. I'm going to release the other one too. We got here some Astyanax that I'm gonna try to get right now. There's a big Astyanax in here too. Let me see if I can get that one. Ah, no, that's another Krenicicla. Back you go. This is the Astyanax right here. They're fast, by the way, very, very fast. So it's not as easy as you think to handle them without a net. There we go, okay. Astyanax. Astyanax altiparanai used to be the Lacustris until a few years ago, right? They divided that. There is a Bricomamericus turiuba somewhere in here. This is the Astyanax lacustris. Is this the Bricomamericus turiuba? No, that's another Astyanax lacustris. So that is the Bricomamericus turiuba right here, which is actually the silvery one. There we go. That is like the rarer one that you can find in this pipe, okay? Oh boy, we don't want to lose the fish. Take it easy, bro. Go back where you belong, right? Good. And then the last one in the bucket is the guppy, the Poesila reticulata, that I'm just going to leave there right now. All right, beautiful. We have no lifers today yet, but I still have about 30, 45 minutes over here before I hop spots for another YouTube video. So let the micro fishing continue, and you never know, dude, something really cool may just show up. Still up here, very finicky. I'll tell I'll give you that. They wait for the lambari to bite first, and then when the lambari bites, then the tilapia is like, Oh, okay, it is food, so I'm going to bite too. Turns out these are red breast tilapia, okay, the coptodome hendali. Very, very finicky. I mean, very hard to catch in this reservoir, too. I already got one in the bucket. I'm going to release this one out there. Tilapia, my man. In the Billings Reservoir. Supposed to be in Africa, boy. Not South America. Even though for some Americans, both continents, I guess, the same. Well, as they say, everything that is good must come to an end. It is 12 p.m. I've been fishing this pipe for about two hours. And I kind of just run out of time. But you know what? Before I call it a day, though... A few things I would like to point out in this video, so follow me, okay? You may have realized that I shot this video today against the sun, right? The sun's right up there in the sky, shining bright. It would be very easy for me to get better footage in this video if I just went to the other side of the pipe and I shot that direction. But why didn't I do it? This is something for you to wonder about, right? Let's come over here and I'm going to show you. You see that? You see what just happened right there? My shadow went in the water and the micros automatically just poof, dispersed. So this is something that you always need to take in consideration when you come to areas like this to fish. Areas that are shallow and areas that, you know, the fish can see you, okay? I kind of prioritize today the fishing over the light, which is why I always, right? came from this side because my shadow was this way 
Another thing too, the majority of the species that you saw in this video, they're all native to this area, with the exception of the tilapia. The tilapia is actually invasive. It came from Africa. Let me put the numbers over here for today on the screen while I tell you this story. Back in the days, the Brazilians wanted to introduce some fish for food here in the Billings Reservoir, similar to how in the United States we introduced the common carp, right, from the old world to the new world. So someone just had a wonderful idea, dude, to bring three different species of tilapia, right, the Nile, the Mozambique, and the red breast, and introduce it here to the reservoir. <laughs> that was like at the end of the 1800s too, and since then, dude, they been in here forever there is no way to extirpate the population there is no way to get rid of them they compete with the native species in the reservoir just recently november of last year i came to this exact same spot and i caught another species invasive to this reservoir which was the river the plate river is i'm going to leave a photo over here in my 25 years of fishing this place dude i never ever encountered one of those you know I, I sent the photo to Felipe because I had no idea what it was and Felipe was like, dude, that's a fish that you usually catch like in the upper Paraná, you know, but like not supposed to be here, you know, like, I mean, another basin, you know, turns out it's another invasive species nowadays in this reservoir, right? I have caught different types of micros from here that are not supposed to be here. Leo, put the photos on the screen, right? Beautiful colors of red, beautiful colors of yellow, beautiful colors on the fins, but those tetras, they are not native to the reservoir either. So nowadays, this is one of the biggest problems that we have with the Billings Reservoir, besides over harvesting, of course, and human pollution. Needless to say, I've been fishing this place now for a little bit less than 30 years, over 25 years, and I enjoy it every time I come down here. It is my childhood spot, man, you know, if you watch the previous videos on the YouTube channel, right? So today, I had the honor to introduce you all to some micros from the reservoir. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. It is time to get some lunch and hop spots, boy. Tie lines. And take it easy.